Ah, that familiar aroma of smoke in the air, slight haze in the sky, looks like wildfire season's here to stay. Now, while wildfires are an active part of many forest ecosystems, the cumulative effects of climate change leading to longer, hotter, drier summers and heat waves, like the ones we just experienced, are putting many of these forests at risk. And there's more at play here than just that. I mean, after all, it is the trees themselves that are on fire. So let's have a look at the top three biggest burning fires in BC right now, starting with Lytton. Now the green here represents different types of old growth forests, the yellow is second growth forest, and the red outlines the fire perimeter, although that doesn't necessarily mean that everything in that perimeter is on fire. Okay, now let's have a look at McKay Creek, all right? Similar thing here. Interesting. Okay, then finally, the aptly named Sparks Lake Fire. How about this? Notice any trends here? You see, when we look at the types of forests that all these fires are burning in, we can see that they're all burning in what is primarily second growth forests. <laughs> You see, old growth forests contain diversity of different tree species at different ages that are much more resistant to fires while also maintaining higher moisture levels and cooler temperatures, not to mention they're crucial for storing and sequestering carbon as a means of mitigating climate change overall, whereas our current methods of logging, clear cutting, and replanting these forests tend to create even aged stands of second growth forests that tend to be drier, hotter, and much more densely packed, making them much more susceptible to fire, and it's no surprise that a vast majority of wildfires start and spread in these second growth forests. So instead of cutting old growth forests down, let's create sustainable man Management that seeks to selectively log, increase diversity, resilience, and old growth characteristics back into our second growth forests to improve not only ecological function and resilience to climate change and fires, but create more sustainable jobs and economy in our communities. Let's hold our elected officials accountable for creating a future worth living in, because the future is a pretty chill place. Chill is in like, like not on fire. That's not very chill.